I'm, I'm trying to like get used to it. How, how does this happen? Guys, this video is pretty bad. All right, so I was browsing the web and I was browsing on YouTube. And of course I was watching these awesome videos on the Lock Doctor. But as I was browsing, I found this crazy video. So I had to click it. Now I'm not even kidding when I tell you that I was only able to watch three seconds of this video. So I figured it'd be best to do a reaction video on this and also give you guys tips and tricks on how to prevent this and also if it happens, how to remove it. Now if you guys have been following for a while, you've seen how I combed out a lot of buildup on my hair, but this is totally different than bugs and lice and so on and so forth. Now you guys can be out here and hear all these bugs that are out here. This is where bugs belong, not in your hair. So this kind of buildup can happen two ways. You get natural buildup from your scalp being dry and flaking off into the hair, you washing it, putting soap in, and that turns into buildup. What happens then, if you keep that buildup in the hair, then that it's gonna attract bugs. And you don't want your hair to attract bugs. That's a big no-no. And not only that, once bugs are attracted to your hair, they start to grow and procreate. And you guys know what that means. So step number one, make sure your hair is washed. Make sure your hair is completely clean and also keep it clean. But let's go ahead and get into this video that I'm not so happy to react to. All right, let's go ahead and get into this reaction. But before we do, I do want to mention the Great Locks Scorch Hook is now only $8 and the Great Locks Interlock Tool is now only $5, which means it's half off. And also the locking bundle together is now only $12. That's literally $8 off. So all new low prices on greatlocks.com. Make sure to click the link down below and get these for now a new low price. This is a big thanks to you guys for one year of support on greatlocks.com. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, and the locking gel actually sold out, so this will be back in stock really soon, so stay tuned for that. Guys, I really don't know what to expect, but here we go. Oh my gosh, right off the bat, I really hope that they clean this. First off, the question is, how did it get to this point? Like, why aren't they already doing something about this? Like, please, how did this happen, guys? I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to like get used to it. How? How does this happen? How did it happen? That... <laughs> guys, I'm not even kidding. I mean, the thing is, is I mean, that's build up. And like I told you guys, this is what could possibly happen. And um, this is how you would deal with it, I guess, if it got to this point. But the thing is, how did it get to this point? That number one, couldn't have been comfortable. Number two, uh, I mean, there's just, just like, but to be honest, there's ways to number one, treat this, but you got to figure out how to prevent it. The number one way is to just make sure that your hair is clean. Make sure your scalp is clean. Like I said, guys, buildup attracts bugs. So make sure that you don't have buildup in your hair, especially if you have dreadlocks. This is really just a sign of it being neglected. If you don't take care of your hair and this is just like, uh, I don't know what to say. I got my hand up and everything, but I do want to mention their YouTube channel. It's Dr. Huge Flake. I'm assuming this is what he just does on his channel. And guys, I really didn't want to do this video just to react to it and just, you know, really look at how crazy this really is. I really want to teach you guys on how to prevent it because how does, how does it happen? How does it get to this point? And it's just from neglect. It's not paying attention to what you're doing. And um, of course, I don't think anybody watching this video will ever get to this point and who knows maybe it, it possibly could but the way to prevent it like i said is to make sure your hair is clean make sure that your scalp has a good ph balance which that's easy to do with using an acv rinse and there's so many things that you can do and don't overdo it sometimes less is more especially when it comes to cleaning your hair and making sure that your scalp is very clean and i mean they already took care of most of i would say the bigger issues right here but it, i mean it's one of those things like how does how does how does that happen and I think what I've told you today is like, honestly, how th that happens. Like, it's just, it's pretty crazy how that can, how this is possible. But it looks like they got all of the actual live creatures out. I mean, the big ones, at least. I mean, there could be smaller ones in there. Like I said, when, when your hair gets built up, it attracts bugs. And then if the bugs are small, they can eventually grow. And then when they grow, they can procreate. So that's how this happens with them multiplying, becoming bigger so on and so forth. And to be honest, I thought this video was fake when I first seen it, but I mean, this just goes to show that it's very possible that this could happen. And I just want to tell you guys how to prevent it because 
nobody wants to have to go through this. And I mean, it's, it's just good that they're actually getting this treated so that it's fixed. All right, so now that they got through most of everything, let's see how they do as far as treating the hair afterward and you know if there's any tips that they give afterward. I mean, we do see them combing out their hair thoroughly and this also can possibly happen from eczema. You know, people that typically have a you know drier skin type and, and that's just the thing of it. Eczema or just dry skin in general can result in the scalp actually flaking off into the hair Which then not only gets flaked off It also gets like wet with other you know sweat and products and things like that and then it can result in extra buildup So that's why it's always good to take care of that at the source And I'm gonna talk to you guys about how to actually handle a dry scalp and not necessarily build up But how to prevent it. All right guys, let's talk about how to prevent this from happening I actually scrolled down to see if there's any comments on this video and the comments were actually disabled Which I think is a good thing that was tough but let's talk about how to prevent it. So believe it or not, buildup originates from a dry scalp. So in order to prevent buildup, you want to prevent a dry scalp. Now, of course, everyone tends to have somewhat of a dry scalp. Some people have oily scalps. And if those combine, that creates buildup. So if you have a dry scalp and then it turns into being oily, you're going to have buildup. So how do you prevent this? So you want to prevent a dry scalp by using these two products. If you have a really bad dry scalp, I recommend the tea gel by Neutrogena. And if your dry scalp isn't too bad, you can also use the tea sal, which is pretty much the same. Both of these products were really good for dry scalps. And overall, it helped me out a lot when I had a dry scalp. Now, of course, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, how when I had to comb out all the buildup that I had in my hair, there's ways to actually take care of it if you weren't able to prevent it in the first place. So both of these products right here are really good for actually taking out any buildup that you have. The first one is a dog comb and they usually have a fine tooth on them as well and also a wide tooth. Both of them work really good. They also work really good for combing out dreadlocks if that's what you plan on doing. But also the lice comb works really good for taking out anything regarding buildup. Now of course if you have dreadlocks it's a different ball game. You probably want to comb out that dreadlock that has a ton of buildup in and then reinstall it by using the Great Locks Crochet Hook which I mentioned earlier on in the video which you can pick that up in the link down below. But the best way to actually deal with buildup inside of dreadlocks without having to take it apart is to use dish soap. So not only is dish soap good for washing these dirty dishes, but this same dish soap that we have right here is Dawn dish soap. And it works really good on really degreasing anything. So if you have buildup in the hair, it's typically from oils from your scalp, combining with the dry flakes that you have in your hair. And this will help eliminate that. Let me go ahead and wash my hand out really quick. Now, if you were to have buildup on one of your dreadlocks and you want to treat it with dish soap, the best thing to do is to grab the dreadlock and treat the area with the dish soap and rinse it out completely. And keep on doing that process until all the buildup is completely out. Obviously you can see on my dreadlocks I don't have really any buildup. And that's because I take these steps of washing the hair. If I get buildup, I make sure to wash it with dish Dawn soap. Dawn dish soap. A lot of people think that washing your hair is a bad thing for your dreadlocks because they might unravel. But it's actually a benefit because not only is it drying out the hair, but it also keeps your scalp very clean and also your dreadlocks really clean so that they can lock up quicker. But with them being extra clean, you gotta make sure that your scalp isn't too dry. And that's why those two shampoos I mentioned earlier are very crucial. And realistically, they're only crucial if you have a bunch of buildup. So if you don't have a whole lot of buildup, I recommend just only washing your hair regularly. Make sure you get on a good routine because if you wash your hair once a week, that's what your scalp is gonna get used to. If you wash your hair once a month, that's what your scalp's gonna get used to. But you have to make sure to stay on pace. Don't change the frequency. So like me, for instance, I wash my hair maybe twice a month, but that's the pace that I work at. Because if I were to change it up, then my scalp is gonna react differently. It's gonna produce more oils. It's also gonna become more dry, depending on which way I go. So if you choose to wash your hair once a week, make sure to stick to that. It's gonna really benefit you. So guys, follow the tips I showed you in this video to prevent all those mistakes and also, Ooh, had a burp. And also don't forget, if you end up having buildup, make sure to treat it properly with the steps that I showed you. I do want to mention again that the Great Locks Crochet Hook and the Great Locks Interlock Tool and the Locking Bundle together are now all low prices on greatlocks.com. So make sure to click the link down below and go get yourself some great products at lower prices. Now there's a few things at greatlocks.com that we believe in. That dreadlocks are indiscriminate. That means that anybody can have them. And that's why these tools literally work for anybody and everybody with any hair type. And we also believe that you can save money by doing it yourself. So if you learn how to use a crochet hook, you learn how to use an interlock tool, you learn how to use them together, and it really saves you hundreds to even thousands of dollars if you planned on going to a loctician. So make sure to click the link down below and enjoy these new prices. It's just a big thank you from us, from greatlocks.com, to you guys for supporting us for this last year. And also, like I mentioned, don't forget to follow the steps that I told you in today's video in order to prevent and also maintain your hair. But you guys, that's today's video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe as well. And I really hope you enjoyed kind of the format of this video. I want to be more creative. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that as well. 
But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace. God bless. Thank you.